For the love of the mask helpers, fast. For the love of the mask helpers, fast. Welcome to For the Love of the Mask Helpers, fast. My name is Sam Flott. And I'll be your tweezer, your tweener today. I'm the tweener poet. I'm here to lend a little bit of entertainment to you all during this fun time of isolation. So, I'm here this afternoon, coming to you from Norwa. What's up, Portland? It's Norwa, being northern Washington, you get it? And I'm in Maple Falls, right by Mount Baker. We're right on 542. Give us a ring before you visit. So um, my wife Jocelyn and I live here in Maple Falls. We absolutely love it. We've been up in the Northwest since um, late 2018. I'm here today to read you some poems. But first, I want to offer some thank yous. Now, Mr. J. Wernt has asked me to give these thank yous out. And I, and I feel like, I feel it's really special. I'm glad I got asked. This is a special note from him. I'm gonna wait till the Harleys go by. You guys can probably hear them. I don't know, I can. Special thanks to the mask helpers. You know who you are. Those who purchase masks to keep it going. Extra special dotty weren't thank yous to Chris and Wendy for the sound system. And Josh for the live feed. And Jim for the water jet nose pieces. And of course, the most special, biggest thank you to Chrissy for putting up with my Shan Oregons. That's a message from Jay. I just want to get that across to everybody. The other thing I want to make sure I say to here today on my special notes list is. Please get some tips to the musicians. They put a lot of time, put a lot of effort into their craft. They're writing songs, they're spending time practicing all the time. And um, if you can possibly do it, throw them, throw them a few bucks, whatever you can. As a poet, I can tell you, I'm pretty sure the musicians would appreciate a dollar or two. And with that, I will don my nose and read the first poem. The first poem is called Spots or Dots. If I forgot the difference between spots and dots, I'd surely think my french fries were my tater tots and my clown, no clown noses might melt lost to the ether, my canvas might not fare too well either. My pen's rapidly losing ink in the inkwell. I'd probably not know how to tell a fool's cap from a liberty bell. And I'd most likely forget all I know about the difference between ebb and flow. If I could not tell the difference between spots and dots, I sure help I sure hope you'd help me with the ink blots. As the future produces new challenges, I think I can handle all those bots, all the chaos and all the subplots. I'll hold it together. I'll still pay for those things I bought. I'm still seeking until I say I have sought. If that be soon, or if it be not, I hope I still know the difference between spots and dots. That's written on the Ides of March 315, 2016. And I wrote that for Jay as a special, special poem for the Derby Dot. Wardrobe!
Hi there. We're still Sam Fox. This is a poem that I wrote within a matter of days of getting back from High Sierra Music Festival in 2015. It's written July 9, 2015. Um, and that's all you get in the intro. You can figure out the rest of it. I'm pretty sure you guys will get it. It's called Dodging Golf Carts. Comfortable in knowing these words will wrap around me like a blanket providing. Or shoes underfoot. A beam of light on the waist. Attached to my belt elemental. I travel with water on one loop and light on the other side. With flame in pocket, I'm never unraveling. I'm grounded and elemental. I'm traveling. Marching forth, never retreating, until I do a half step. Check back around behind me. I'm dodging golf carts. I'm walking backwards. I'm waiting on stragglers. I'm slipping wisecracks into the air as well as softballs for my mellow friends. New and old, all around me. So they can wrap around, sending off waves, clever puns, spinning tricks, spun. We all move along to some meadow or food court, bouncing from adventure to dawn's earliest light. And not the one on my belt, which hits. As the morning birds keep reminding us, sleep, you fools. Get some small amount of sleep. Because a new day dawns with promise. And you need some rest. So sleep, you fools. Sleep. Just a little. And be ready to march forward again. Refreshed and renewed. Recharged and elemental. And do it all over again. I guess that's advice to anyone going to high Sierra if you've never been there. Is watch out for the golf carts because they come up rather quickly. Okay. Wardrobe! Thank you, wardrobe. All right. This one comes from 2012. And um, it's just a, a little writing about one of the fans. Of one of my favorite bands. The Grateful Dead. This is the Grateful Dead poem. The Grateful Dead. I guess it's, it's the Grateful Dead fan poem. So it's the Deadhead poem. Peculiar... Julia. Peculiar Julia, all wrapped up in patchoulis and steelies. A little too touchy, a little too feely. Out in a field or in enclosed spaces. Back flashing back, she's following traces. Back to the days of calliopes. Only the unimagined men remain stuck in stasis. Exchanging their glances inside their own trances as everybody like us just dances and dances. The lightning is lazy and so is the river. The bolts never fly from the lightning bolt quiver. The river, she lies there flat as a rug, being cut up by 10,000 bugs. Who realize once they all drop their stances, they're all going to dance until they find their own kinds of dances. The dervishes dervish, and the spinners they spin. It seems like the hand dancers have curious grins. The pyramid peaks at the tippity top. Each instrument stretching out this gnarly bebop. For one moment, suddenly they all stop and be quiet. Like they know... Once they start selling again, and I'll buy it. Each guitar note, its own whole tonal sound. A 
as you fly up to space and then back to the ground. May you never be hungry. May your soul always be fed. It's just like I remember my elders always said, there ain't nothing in the world like the Grateful Dead. That isn't about anybody in particular. It just went that way. Wardrobe! Thank you, Wardrobe. This is, this is what I decided to call the angry reporter look. Okay. Not really. Alright, this is my next report is um, from the year 2017, July 30th, 2017. I wrote this poem called Let Someone Else Keep It. It goes like this. Referencing this preference for deferential reverence indicating Conduits that lead me to some inspiration. And then I stick to it and roll around, comparing this and that for sound. I look beside me up and down, I use my surroundings very found. Around the inside. The upside. The outside. The high tide. I grab a leaf and then repeat. I grab a leaf and then repeat. I feel the earth beneath me move. I love anemones and jellyfish too. I send myself in transit to a place I think I never knew. A place I think I never thought. A time which money hasn't bought. A fight which I have not yet Caught. A mind. It is not caught. First thought. Dawn on paper in the moment. Second thought. From surroundings will foam it. Third thought. Brings it all out of stasis. Fourth thought. Hammers home the basis. See it. Get it. Save it. Speak it. And let someone else keep it. Preferring this reverence with consequential deference without expecting recompense, other than in the universal sense. First thought, down on the paper in the moment. Second thought, from surroundings will foment. Third thought, brings it all out of stasis. Fourth thought, hammers on the basis. See it, get it, Save it, speak it, and let someone else keep it. This job's as old as trees and rocks. I'll do it as long as my legs will walk, as long as my brain and tongue can talk, as long as long can be. I'll do my job and show you what I see. To see it. Get it, save it, speak it, and then let someone else keep it. All right. You guys can have that one. Anybody out there watching can have this poem. Okay. There we go. And then um, uh, it's time for wardrobe. Wardrobe! I might need to do a few close-ups right here for this one because you all can't really see what's happening. Um, that's he's on the helmet. He's parachuting down. And that's my derby dot on the back. Hi, Jay and Chrissy. Anyone still watching now is going, okay. 
This is my safety poetry helmet. I wear it every time I read this poem. No off button. I didn't know. I didn't know. Well, I had to be on all the time, ready with the regurgitated words at the get-go, at the ready, at the tip of the point of the top of my very own tongue. Brain shavings spit forth in a maelstrom of mental activities, swirling in manic fury of multitasking beauty, while matching rhythms to beats, rhythms to beats, and managing to put it just before or on. Or just after, your brain starts firing images, salacious verbiage connected to the disconnected and the interconnected. Followed by succinct labor of minarets built on the audacity of worshippers with flaming candles, singing tantric mantras wearing sandals, and making swirling mandalas which envelop minds and develop the contents into tables of intention which become real when mixed with action. And whether or not the wind blows or the sun shines, whether or not the climate is conducive to your activity, the show must go on. and never end? I didn't know I had to be on all the time spewing surreal logic and loquacious hip lingo and non-jingoistic linguistics for undefined periods of time limited only by self-constriction to keep going or to keep to keep going or to keep going, or to keep okay this one goes out to the for the love of the mask helpers best all of you you know who you are thank you very much my name is Sam Flott. Very happy to be here. Hope you're enjoying your Saturday. The weather was fairly conducive here. It decided to rain during the last poem, just to keep things um, on the up and up. I was ready. And um, yeah, there you have it. Thank you all. Thank you for the masks. Thank you for the helping. Thank you, um, Chrissy, for putting up with Jay. And um, thank you, Jay. We love putting up with you. It's well worth it. Peace.